get for yourself a NSP32 board, a great microcontroller. ESP32 board for this project. Okay, the board will be connected to the uh, Arduino AOT cloud. Of course, we're gonna be using this uh, DC motor. Okay, a 12 volt, a 12 volt um, DC fan, direct current. Great stuff, huh? This is a cool stuff, guys. Two wires, uh, black and. Of course, uh, um, the DC motor driver is the uh, L298N DC motor driver. You can use uh, whatever you want, okay? You, you, can, you can use uh, another type of DC motor driver, okay? So let's start with our connections, okay? So the green wire is to be attached to the uh, GPIO 15 Okay, I like that Please connect the black wire to ground, okay, not to 3.3 volts because right now I'm making a big mistake, okay, so This is to To be attached to the uh, ground, okay, the black wire And then you the ground of the of the ESP thirty two board. You attach it okay through this jumper wire to the ground of the of the DC uh DC of the driver okay of the L and small drive and the green wire is uh, attached to the uh, input in three okay in three of the this model to drive okay the green wire is going to in three okay from gpa of 15 to in three now uh this is a an, a, an external power supply 12 volt okay um uh, external power supply okay so we connect okay the ground if you want the negative side of this power supply to the ground okay of the driver okay so the driver and the, the uh, sp 32 board and uh, the um, the uh, zero volt external power supply they must share the same ground okay the three ground now the plus of the uh, external power supply you attach okay you connect it to the uh, plus zero volt okay of the DC model just like that okay now um these two jump wires is for the two volt fan okay the red wire is for red and uh, the black one for black one okay now you connect the red wire of this fan to output three to i mean to yeah to output three okay you're gonna see that you connect it to output just like that you know? output three and this to and this to output four beautifully
Lane. Okay, now we connect the, you know, the, uh, the cable so that uh, we can upload the sketch, okay? Okay, uh, so we're going to be controlling the fan, okay, through Arduino IoT Cloud, okay? So, okay, I'm uh, using ESP32 board and uh, this is the diagram. Okay, the uh, schematic. Now we, we go to Google, so we can and uh, we, we type Arduino Cloud. You, you click on it, okay? You click on Get Started for Free. Um, then you go to Create a New Project. So you, you, you click on Thing, Thing, okay? You wait a few seconds okay so now uh we are you you click add okay to create a new variable and um, my variable will be switch okay pool boolean if you want variable now you, you click on here to choose your board okay for me it, it is uh it is esp 32 dev uh, module then you, you click on continue and uh, you can give a name to your um, to your board okay give your device a name to your device then click next now you download okay um, make your device IoT ready uh, okay so as you can see we need the uh, secret key okay the secret key you download it or you can just um simply cap okay the secret key or you can just uh, download it okay then you click okay uh, here you click here and then you click continue okay done okay great um now you set up your network you um, put here the name of your wi-fi and uh, the password of your wi-fi here you paste the secret key okay you paste it okay because I've just copied it, okay? Or you can go to the uh, download and uh, open the uh, PDF that uh, you, you've just downloaded, okay? And uh, here you're gonna find your secret key. You, you cop that and uh, you paste it here. Okay, then you click save now go to here you rename your thing okay so give a name to, to, to your thing we I think it's going to be fun control okay then you click rename okay uh, this is the code okay we need to change that okay to fit our project okay so if if you fun okay the fun okay is the uh, the bool variable that uh, we 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 we've just created okay guys so um, if the bool the, the variable equals uh, one then the fun starts spinning if not, the fan uh, will stop spinning, okay? So we can put these instructions uh, inside of void loop function or inside of this function, okay, guys? Here or here.
but uh, I choose uh, void loop okay again I can choose uh, I can just choose uh, a loop or I can just choose the, the the function okay so you can choose okay so this is my code and uh, I'm going to to provide okay the sketch in the description of this video okay then these are the also you 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 don't touch okay this sketch okay guys don't touch here because every, everything is okay you you don't need to change nothing here okay so do not uh, edit okay this um this stuff okay guys so as you can see here do not edit okay um so here the, this is our main sketch so now we go to we click here okay then we we, we click on dashboard so we we can set up our that uh, dashboard for our mobile phone so you you click re to rename it okay uh, i'm going to name it okay to rename it to get fun control then you click on re rename it you click on add okay switch okay because we're gonna be using a switch then you link okay that that's switch to the uh fun variable then you click done so you can show your yeah, stuff okay we don't need to change the the name okay you click done and then you can um yeah you, you can do that so you can uh do this thing so that uh, yeah for your phone okay guys here for, uh, for your phone how the switch will appear on your phone okay so you can change this here uh, okay so now we we um the, the dashboard is set up okay it's, it's good now we go back to things then we click on here okay um okay i think i think everything is okay wait wait is everything okay here i think um let me see something okay um think it's okay now you can upload the sketch to your uh, to your microcontroller Okay, it will take few seconds then okay so uh, it takes few seconds and then it will uh, it will start uploading um, now you press right now at your wood uh, button okay in your board if you need it to okay if you need it to Okay, so it's uh, uploading. Now you go to your mobile phone and uh, download IoT Remote. Okay, and then you you set you set up everything. Okay, great. 
so we don't need i think we, we need to quit with this stuff okay so as you can see here our project okay appears uh, automatically here okay this is uh, our project fund control so you you don't need to change uh, anything here because it, it appears uh, automatically okay so our board is on okay is online as you can see here is online so now testing time we need to test our project so don't, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon okay thank you so much and i see you in the next video